Hi guys, my name is Timothy Allen, and thank you very much for joining me in this new series. Over the next few videos, we are going to cover a whole lot of stuff on how you can make better builds, fills, and effects using Logic X 10.1 or above. Some of the things we'll be using uh, require the 10.1 uh, the update as Apple decided to include a whole bunch of new fun things for us. So we're going to learn about uh, the Logic Drummer and how he's not just for rock and roll. We're going to use and abuse him a little bit to uh, to generate some fills for us. Then we're going to see some ways to create builds and fills with existing content you've already done. So you don't have to spend a whole lot of time creating separate projects or whatnot to do uh, to do risers and builds and stuff. You can use a lot of the time existing content that you've already made. Then, of course, we're going to go into pitched risers, which are all the rage with the kids these days. Then we're going to talk about more subtle things as well to, to enable you to have really smooth transitions and to basically bring section A of your track together with section B of your track very smoothly. Okay, we're gonna also talk about common controls on synthesizers and how you can map them to smart controls. Man, there's just a whole bunch of content. Anyways, let's get cracking. I'm gonna see you in the next video.